Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to explain how to understand and read results of the gel electrophoresis. I would explain theory behind it and uh, you probably saw many times pictures like this in uh, different movies like uh, Forensic Files where scientists looking at such picture can decide whether the suspect uh, has a connection with the crime scene or not. So here is a problem. In this gel, the base pair lens are listed on the right, which end of the DNA fingerprint was plunged to the negative terminal during electrophoresis. And for possible answers listed here, so you have to choose. And uh, first of all, uh, a little bit explanation of uh, what we can see on this picture. So here on the right and on the left, as you see, we see a pattern that is very similar to each other. We call such sequences ladder. So what ladder means? Ladder means that we premix um, DNA of the known lens. For example, uh, the length of this band is 100 bases, and of this band 500 bases, of this band 1000 bases. And the same is true with this ladder. So we just uh, load two ladders on the side, so it would be easier for us to tell the length of um, those DNA fragments that uh, is unknown to us. So now we can easily say that uh, the size of this DNA fragment is 2000 bases. And uh, the size, for example, of this fragment is between uh, 1000 and 500. So we need letters for reference. Now let's take a look and uh, in which direction uh, this fragments move. And as you see, here is a smear, just like uh, what you would leave, for example, if you move uh, in the deep snow, you also would uh, uh, leave some disturbance in the snow. The same uh, is true for DNA. DNA, when moves, leaves disturbance. So we can say that direction of the movement would be from here to here. So this would be direction of the movement of the DNA. So this smear would be made by some DNA molecules that stuck behind and some pigments that also uh, smear along this uh, path. Now we can easily tell uh, where were positive and negative charge applied. So because uh, DNA uh, slightly electrically negative in order to move in this direction we should have here positive end and negative end here so negative charge were applied here and positive charge were applied from this side DNA mixture were loaded here in a holes made with a tool that resembles a hairbrush. And as you see, uh, DNA of the different size we loaded in each hole. And then during the run, it separates. Uh, the theory is very simple. Imagine that we have uh, people who is over weight and people who is uh, has normal weight and this is start line and uh, if these people would start running in say um, 10 to 20 seconds these people would separate to two groups one uh, those who is uh, overweight would run behind those who of the normal 
weight and these two groups visually would form two bands because in our example we have not just two three five molecules we have um, thousands and millions of molecules that make each band here so as you see molecules would uh, separate depending on their size and uh, as you see reference letter here help us to say um, molecular weight of this uh, molecules size of each is unknown to us but uh, we can tell by um, this reference letters what is the size so this is how we get a unique DNA uh, profile of each person and if you take a closer look uh, all these uh, DNA profiles look differently but this two look uh, like very similar so if one specimen we are taking for example at the crime scene and this is uh, specimens of the uh, suspects we can say that suspect number two have something to do with uh, this crime scene because uh, his DNA profile is the same that we were found in biological evidence on the crime scene and each such DNA profile we call DNA fingerprint and as you see now we can answer our question from which side of this gel electrophoresis negative charge and positive charge were applied and as you see it was from the top and this is answer A and this is all for today I hope now you would understand this uh, type of problems much better and would know what scientists means when they show such pictures like this one and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye